Hi, my name is Kathy Schultz and this is my husband Richard Schultz. We've been uh, members of the community of Culebra for over 24 years and we love Culebra. We rent bicycles to tourists and we also sat, set up and ran the Culebra Veterinary Clinic for 20 years. Right now we have a big problem because t 10 feet away from us we have a hotel being built in the public parcellas. They started in September but we realized in February when we were able to tell that it was no longer a home. The head of OGPE came over because the, all of the neighbors had made a complaint, a Korea to OGPE about all of the thing, everything that was happening here and we also made a petition with from all the neighbors signing it asking them not to give them a commercial license for the uh, hotel. He said it was supposed to only be two levels, not three, and there had to be stairs inside the building, and if there weren't, he was shutting it down. So I spoke with the mayor, and the mayor said that OGPE had stopped the work on the project, but however, these they kept working continuously. They didn't stop. And because the workers are living in a shack on the property, they can continue working those hours, seven days a week, 12, 13 hours a day. The chipping hammers, the saws, the drills, the hammering constantly. That's if they are able to turn this into a hotel by getting their commercial permits, it will be just as bad with the noise because the problem with the hotels and the parcella is it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The noise doesn't stop. The traffic, the parking will be it's just ridiculous. If they turn on all seven of those air conditioners, we're not even going to be able to watch television inside of our house, let alone probably talk to each other because the noise is going to be so horrific. Everybody's in shock, even the Alcadia and the Assemblea, they're like going, what do we do, you know? They're trying to figure out what to do next. My name is William Rivera. Vivo en Culebra, Puerto Rico. Vivo en las parcelas públicas de Culebra. Y vivo aquí por 22, 23 años. En esta parcela, pero en Culebra vivo hace 39 años. Muchas personas no estamos de acuerdo con, con esa instalación de, de este house porque estas personas no, no se dirigieron a la comunidad para crear este house en Culebra. Eh, desconocemos el motivo y si tienen permiso para guest house o cosas así tengo entendido que tienen un programa en internet ofreciendo la propiedad y nosotros vivimos antes que ellos en esta en, en estos predios de terreno que se nos otorgó al, mediante el municipio estas personas la, yo no las conozco no sé quiénes son ni los empleados tampoco pero fueron muy abusadores con, con nuestra comunidad. Esta comunidad es tranquila, no, no nos metemos con nadie y estas personas no se sabe de dónde vinieron a construir y son unos malagradecidos y, y son inhumanos porque a las 6 de la mañana tumbando una pared con un chipping hammer hace demasiado mucho ruido y aquí todos trabajamos. Eh, yo tengo un negocio, mi, mi negocio se llama Culebra Taller Center, que es una gomera, y mi negocio abre a las 8 de la mañana, hasta las 4 de la tarde. Eh, por eso consideramos, eh, los vecinos míos tienen un guest house, por eso abrimos a las 8 de la mañana. Y no se hace ruido de, de, an, antes de esa hora porque entendemos que todo el mundo tiene derecho a descansar. Por ende, Estas personas son unos abusadores con nuestros vecinos. We just recently received notification from OGPE that the project next door has been given their permits to construct apartments. However, these apartments have already been constructed and are already being rented and sold online as a condominium apartment building in the public parcellas.